In C programming, when we use or create user defined functions, we pass parameters or values to user defined functions using two mechanisms. The first mechanism is something called as the call by value. That is the only one we have used so far when we have used functions. So in this and the next session, I'll try to tell you what is call by value, which we have been doing it so far. And then what is call by address, which we shall be utilizing very heavily in future, starting from now onwards. So what I have done is I have declared an integer variable a with value 25 integer variable b with value 10. So this is how it looks a 25 value b 10 let us say a is at address 100 b is at address 104. Now I have declared a function void add int comma int in the sense within main I can declare the prototype it's perfectly fine I can declare the prototype outside main or I can declare it within main. So what it's trying to tell me is add is a function which does not return any value and it accepts two parameters or values which happen to be integers. Now what I am doing in step one is before I am calling this fellow add okay let's cover up this add I am printing the values of a and b so if I print the values of a and b at this point it is simply going to print 25 and 10 since I have not done anything to a and b. Then I am calling this function add with a comma b that means I am passing the value of 25 and 10 to this particular function add. So let us see what I am doing in add. In add I have declared int a comma int b. Let me tell you one thing this a and b is local to add. The a and b in main is not the same as a and b in add. To just give you conceptual clarity for example if the address of a was 100 in main and address of b is 104 in main these two a and b are local to add and will have two completely different addresses because they are two completely different variables. So this a for example will have the value address of 200 this may have the address of 204 depending on what the computer assigns it. But when you call add a comma b 25 is copied here and 10 is copied here. So now this you can think of as the original a b existing in main this a b are copies of a and b from main. So if you destroy this the original does not get affected. So here what I am trying to do is I am increasing the value of a by 10 I am making it 35 and b by 10 making it 20. So when I print the value of a and b in add it is going to print 35 and 20 perfectly fine. But now if I go back to here if I come back here okay after this add a b I come back here. Now when I print a and b it is not going to print 35 and 20 because this a b were local or only were visible within add this a b was visible only within main. So this a b copy was sent here. So you played around with the copy but nothing happened to the original. So when you print the value of a and b here it will still print 25 and 10. So my explanation should prove this output. First time I print a b 25 10. Second time when I try to pass a b to a b to add and I am printing a b it is printing 35 and 20. Then after the function call when I am printing a and b it is not printing 35 and 20 because the original values have not been changed here because these are two different memory locations. So it still prints 25 and 10. So this is known as call by value. We will now take a look at in the next video what is call by address and we will try to differentiate between call by value and call by address.